Silk Cream has finally released Brandon Banks. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Now, to be very honest, I wasn't very familiar with the artist because I'll, I'll be for real. I'll, I was sleeping on the guy. But I tell you right now, I don't care what nobody says. There is absolutely not a single bad track on this album. And I, I want to get through, through, through it. I'm in love with the first track. The first track was phenomenal. There, there was nothing wrong with it. And as going on, I was wondering wh how it's going to pick up. And as I, I don't think I mentioned, but this is a very storytelling album. And if you want a perfect storytelling album, this is the album right here. And yeah, I realized, I saw as I was checking out the playlist, I actually saved one of his projects. Now, not to mention this artist came out in 2015 and there were certain particular like hopes I had for him and you know, it just wasn't there at the time. I didn't think he was a bigger picture, but I can honestly put him as one of the best lyricists of, of this generation. Coming up with Denzel Curry, Jid, Freddie Gibbs, Daniel Brown, and I could put him right there, right there on that list. I'm telling you right now, this is actually one of my favorite projects, and it's instantly going to be in my top five. I don't care what other album comes out. This project, I had no issue with it, and I really enjoy that storytelling that lyricists artists are showing and I like it because it, it shows that people can say there's not enough lyricists or can say there's there's not enough artists that, that are telling story wise and this is one of those artists you can show it to those people or particularly elders you can mention this is one of those albums you should check out but man as he as he gets dark in, in certain tracks and the features alone i give props to every single one of them schoolboy q mcstallion um big crit who also released um i i did a review on his album but yeah those artists and everyone else did a fantastic job they did their own thing and their own flaws it, it's perfect i really enjoyed every single one of the tracks and the features i had no issue with nobody even the feature i didn't even no, like I didn't know who the guy was. I'm not even gonna bother checking. Maybe you guys know him, but yeah. And there's actually a lot of great music I, I want to check out. And I'm I'm gonna tell you guys um th this particular artist and song that I really enjoy. And um, I might do the video tomorrow, and I might do another video today because Nas the Lost Tapes too just came. Out. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of artists that has done the same thing this year. I'm pretty sure, but this is a particular artist that I can listen to nonstop for storytelling that's an artist that hasn't done that for me in such a long time and I, I, I man best way to describe its storytelling is basically you're in that story and as you're in the story you could understand as you're listening to the track it's immediately going going to it you're not just waiting on that part the part is already there so you're just now in it and you're trying to wait, trying to find a way to escape out of that. But yeah, hopefully you can understand what I mean by that. But yeah, there's actually not a single bad track from this. This album is amazing. And to be honest with you, I'm gonna give this a phenomenal 9.5 out of 10. It's that good. Now I would give it a 10, but I the only issue that I had is the beginning of the track of the, the one with Meg Mega Stallion. I only had an issue because it started off slow that that's the only track that because uh, it kind of got out of that position with the storytelling but at the same time not really because you know man you know together you know the drill and spoiler um the lost tapes i didn't like the first half i didn't bother checking the, the rest but if you guys would like me to review then five likes is you know really all i can ask for just five likes and i'll get that review out the way but i will still mention it in tomorrow's video if i could do it or sometime because there has been a lot of releases i really enjoyed and i can't wait to mention it all to you but yeah if you enjoyed this review just give it a like i guess because i i kind of want to do the lost taste for you guys it was okay i guess the first half was dry and yeah I'll finish listening to it. And peace.
So YBN Corday has released his track list. I'll review. I'll definitely review the album. This is my birth month, so I so I can't wait for all these other amazing projects to come out. Birthday just passed. I enjoyed myself, but man, these projects are coming back and forth, and some of them are decent, some of them are good. Definitely one of my favorite projects. Very very good. But was not expecting it to be good at all. But man, I doubted this particular artist and shouldn't have. But yeah. But yeah, as I mentioned, YBN Corday's track list looks amazing. Can't wait to review that. 